Spain, our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Turner Rubo, with more on this. This is home for me. My daughter, Elliot, is one of the half a million people diagnosed oh, wow. every year, the right? And it really is debilitating. Tell everybody about the condition. Yeah, so this is the most common tick borne illness in the United States. It's a bacterial infection. We see it commonly in the Northeast, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. And you heard so many cases uh, per year in this country. And a lot of people end up going undiagnosed because they can have a constellation of all different kinds of symptoms that can really be missed for months or even years until it's picked up and there is a blood test that can check for it but again if you have the blood test done early on in the infection those first few weeks it may come back negative so you definitely would want to repeat it and have an index of suspicion if you're having some of these different symptoms we're going to talk about to bring it up with your doctor and say can you check me for Lyme disease. Right, we heard those there nerve pain lots of fatigue what are the other symptoms? Yeah so basically there's three stages of Lyme disease the first stage you have some of those constitutional symptoms fatigue muscle aches joint pains headaches some enlarged lymph nodes and then the character characteristic hallmark rash. We call it a bullseye or target rash and essentially it has red around the center, a red dot in the middle and then clearing around. It looks like a bullseye. It can develop anywhere on the body. It can be up to 12 inches large and it's not painful but it can be warm. So you usually see that within the first few weeks of getting the tick bite. And then the second stage is where you start to see some of those other systems involved. So you may have inflammation of the heart muscle, heart block or electrical problems with the heart, neurologic changes, neuropathies, um, even meningitis and then you can have skin changes eye changes like mm. conjunctivitis retinitis and some of these migrating joint pains so you have joint pain in one area and then in another area and that usually happens weeks to months and then the late stage which is months to years is where you develop those arthritis usually in the big joints so think the knee um, and that should trigger someone to say again let me get tested for Lyme or your doctor might bring it up with you once you're tested what are the treatment options so it's usually treated with antibiotics and the recovery is good if you catch it particularly early on you can treat it with oral antibiotics about a 10 to 14 day course if you catch it late you may need IV antibiotics most people recover very nicely again if it is late stage you might have some long-term effects if there was neurologic damage or joint damage let's talk about prevention yeah so this is the, the main thing to think about so if you live in one of these endemic areas you want to think about unfortunately in the summer when it's hot wearing long sleeves or long pants using permethrin treated clothing putting on the EPA type repellents staying away from those tall high grasses and brushes if you're hiking stay in the center of the trail if you find the tick you want to remove it so the tick will not transmit the infection to you unless it's been on you for about 24 hours so you have time to get it off um, and basically the ticks can be really small like the size of a poppy seed so you have to really look and do tick checks after you come in if you find it use a tweezer to really pull it out you don't want to crush the body because that can actually spread the infection mm. and then you may get prophylactic antibiotics if you speak to your your doctor they may prescribe a one dose pill of antibiotics. Yeah and you have to do those tick checks on your pets as well. You got to do them. I had a patient tell me she had one in her ear actually so they really can crawl in different areas. Wow. You got to look. Thank you. Thanks. My mm -hmm. sister had one in her ear as a baby. Oh. And I remember my parents. I still remember them pulling it out with the uh, tweezers. Yeah. Yep. I hope Elliot feels better. Soon. Thank you. Aww. Thanks doc. Thank you.